I got my kite set up. I'm waiting. I'm waiting to see who shows up. There's supposed to be a Russian guy that is going to rent equipment from Brian. He, he's supposed to be here. And then there's another guy that I haven't, I can't say his name right this second, but he's emailed me and he's staying in Osheria. So I told him I sent him a, a link to what the wind was going to be today at Windy TV, windy.tv or windy.com. And it showed that it could get to 15 miles an hour. And usually when Wendy says something like that, it's usually better. But it's real choppy. We got white caps, but it's real choppy. And the self-launch is really difficult in this kind of weather. So I hate to say it, but I'm going to play safe and um, hang out until either the wind gets really high and nobody shows up. The higher the wind, the better chances I've got to be able to safely self-launch. You can self-launch in low wind, but the quicker you get control of the kite, and the, the better, because you just, you really don't have that much difference, distance from these trees to the edge of the water line. So that's what I'm gonna be doing, is trying to see how long it's gonna take for somebody to get here. And as soon as they get here, I'm gonna help them or self-launch get somebody to launch me go kite it's up in the air right now so stay tuned <laughs> covered the camera up when i did that stay tuned and uh let's find out what's gonna happen 